Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to paint a partridge in a pear tree. So grab your paints and let's get started. I can't believe that I've never drawn a partridge in a pear tree. It seems absolutely obvious for me to have a go at one of those. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm just creating, I'm gonna do a, like a potted tree. I think that's a bit easier. So two curving lines, two top and bottom. And I'm just gonna have a line up the top and then just going to give myself a, a sense of where the tree is going to be. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my, have my partridge in the middle of it. So I'm going to do a little sort of quite stylized shape and then up around this way the, the head comes over that way facing that way some partridges you sort of see them with a, a little plume like that but I think that will work nicely and we'll do a little little line to get us the uh, shape of the head and then from there I'm going to sort of do some quite stylized swirly lines it was quite a lot of drawing for me today and from that I'll be drawing pears and leaves coming off a bit like it like that. Okay, so if you're at home, you want to give that a good rub out with pencil, just so you've got the faintest fine lines. Um, and I think for me, what I'm actually going to do is start off with the pears. So I've got some green, uh, not green, I've got some yellow ochre here and then down here I've got some green gold which I think will be a really nice pear colour and then a little bit of cadmium orange as well and I am going to use my size zero brush and I'm going to paint them in so start with my yellow ochre, fill in a little bit then get a bit of green gold See, they're a similar colour actually, really. And you can sort of do different amounts of each. Let's try one with a bit of orange in it. So I'm going to fill in a few more pears and then we can start doing the branches. So I filled that area with hanging pears and whilst we wait for that to dry I am going to just paint in the pot with a mixture of cadmium orange and yellow ochre and you notice I just sort of painted across a bit lower than the actual pot itself because we're going to do a bit of a, a sort of decorative band on top. using water to come down and I'm not sort of worrying about there being 
like a blend because that just that little bit of time that the bottom section had to dry means that we've now got just that subtle little sort of disconnect. Okay, so I'm now going to mix up some sap green into my green gold. Now that's soaked up all the green gold, so I'll get a little bit more there. And that's going to be our leaf colour. And then we're going to have some nice burnt sienna for our tree. So I just need to make sure everything is 100% dry and then we can paint in our branches and leaves. Because this is a slightly stylized piece, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my four tenths brush and I'm going to do like a twisty, a twisty trunk. So I'm going to paint in sort of S's going down Here we go and just gradually build up a twisty trunk. Like I say, this is a very stylized painting, so I don't expect this to be a an accurate representation. I'm not going to really colour it in too much at this stage. But as we get up to, to the top, I can start to turn these twisty branches into the actual branches that I've got. So I'm going to paint them so that they sort of thin, they thin out. Just slightly adjust the curl of your branches, that's fine. So I'm going to just build up those curly branches and then we can get the leaves in. I've now added a little bit of burnt sienna to some Payne's grey and with my four tenths brush I'm adding in some texture to the tree trunk and also to the branches themselves. So I'm now painting in the leaves wherever I can find a little space. Just doing two sort of halves of, of this overly pointy oval and then just making sure there's a little clean line of unpainted space up the middle. And I'm also making sure that the space around the partridge is also filled with leaves. Thank you. 
I'm still using my four tenths brush here um, because it's fairly fiddly work. Onto the partridge, I'm going to paint it first in yellow ochre. Just a wash across the body. I'm just doing this as my size zero brush because even though it's a wash, it's still quite fiddly and precise. And then I'm going to take some of this darker brownie, cold brown mix and drop that in to the tail and just send that up. And then a bit of more sort of warm burnt sienna just there and then I will add yellow ochre to the top and then we're going to let that dry. Whilst that's drying um, just add a tiny bit more detail to the pot underneath so I'm adding some yellow ochre to my burnt sienna um, and maybe just a little bit of a, a dash there and a little bit of a detail Just doing a little sort of spriggy thing. And then I just clean off my brush and then use the wetness to sort of create a bit of colour underneath. And that looks rather nice. Uh, right. So the partridge, we've got a little sort of reddish beak. And then some rather distinctive patterns on the wing, sort of stripy, which at this point is quite good because it's going to just bleed and blend a little bit, which I'm quite pleased with. And then I'm going to add a little more of that Payne's grey colour to the tail there. And then I'm also going to use this colour And the eye there as well. And um, to just sort of create a bit of a nice pattern on our partridge. As I said, it's a very stylized one. Anyway, we're going to let that dry 100% and we'll rub out the pencil. I've rubbed out all the pencil and now I am just adding in a few nice little details. So a few yellow ochre dots on the pears for a little bit of texture. And then I like the idea of getting some Payne's Grey in with my green mix. And 
just sending some of that green along the leaves. It just makes a rather more uh, sort of detailed picture. You don't have to do it on everyone. And of course, like me, try, or unlike me, try not to stick your hand in your painting and smudge it. Okay. And then the partridge is also dried, so I'm going to just do a few extra little lines and details and also just a few little feathery touches on the wing there. And finally, I'll just dilute, dilute, dilute that right down and add a little bit onto everything. shadow there and there we have a partridge in a pear tree thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed that one i want to say a massive thank you to our patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy and if you enjoyed it then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one and of course if you never want to miss another video hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again next time bye